Hey guys, it is November 16th, Friday. It's about 6.30 in the morning. I had to wait a little longer this morning because we're getting a bunch of snow, so it was still really dark at legal hunting hours, so. But I am here now. Today is gonna be all on the ground. I'm gonna be looking for some tracks and hopefully get on them and hope for the best. I hit him perfect. I hit him absolutely perfect. Run and gun and I think that's the only way we can do that. Big old main smallmouth there. Cut it on a drop shot, about 28 foot of water. The first 15 minutes. Sorry for the footage today, camera phone. Um, not bringing the camera out in weather like this. When I'm walking around in the woods, it's not fun to lug around, so. Hopefully I uh, can get the kill shot on my GoPro and I can do the rest on my phone. Hope for the best, we'll see. I'll see you guys in there. I got any of that on the GoPro. I just shot at one. I know he had a rack, and that's all I know. I'm gonna minute, I'm gonna give him a minute, take my bearings. I shot through some thick stuff. So I'm gonna pop up there and uh, see if I can find any blood, but I'm gonna give him a minute. I didn't even hear him coming. I was just calling and I just caught him moving through the woods. So I'm gonna stand by and uh, if I didn't hit him, I'm definitely gonna track him. Hey guys, Jordan here. Jeff's somewhere back there. So quick little recap, I'm editing right now or attempting to, pretty new at this. And I've realized that during this video where you just saw me shoot, I didn't have that gun put into my shoulder very well and it slipped out and the scope came in and knocked me right in the forehead. So you, you're going to see in the video, my nose is bleeding. That was from a running into a branch moments before the GoPro turned on. And then you're going to see this guy bleeding. Not proud of it, but it happened. It happened. <laughs> So there's that. Okay, bye. Enjoy the video. Oh, guys. I hit him. But I don't think it's great. I shot through such a small hole. You guys can see how thick the woods are behind me. And unfortunately, I don't think it was a good shot. So right now, I'm just, I'm just taking a break. I'm going to sit for about 15, 20 minutes before I continue tracking, hoping that he's gonna lay down and I can get another shot at him. I'll show you guys uh, his track right now. And out that way is the power line. And if he crossed the power line, I'm gonna have a hard time tracking him. I tracked that deer for miles. I'll get an exact number after I tracked my route with GPS. And uh, I jumped him three times. He was in such thick stuff that I never got a shot at him. I feel terrible. I know I hit him somewhere. He stopped bleeding after about mile one, one and a half. So I'm sure he'll be fine. Or someone else will pick him up because when I left his track, someone else had picked up his track so we'll let fresh legs get after it hopefully they find it but it was not a vital hit it was a poor shot on my part 
I'm definitely taking something away from that one. And uh, again, I feel terrible. I'm super disappointed in myself. And now I've got this long hike. You may think, oh, you're on a road, that's great. I don't know what this road is. I just found it. So I decided to hop on it, take a compass reading and head north. Because I know north is home. So, it's about 2.30 right now. Last light's at like 4.36 or 4.35. And it's gonna take me that long just to get home, so. I am covered in snow from head to toe. I'm exhausted, I'm hungry, thirsty, sweating. Good first experience tracking though. Never done it before. And I wasn't successful. I'll try again tomorrow.